Today I'm showing you how to make salted butter caramel. This is very popular in Brittany on crepes, but you can also use it on pancakes. Also, a drizzle of salted butter caramel on vanilla ice cream is just delightful. But personally, I like taking it with a spoon, just like, ow. Let me show you how easy it is. You only need three ingredients. Let me get them. I got ingredients from the sky. So you need butter, sugar, and heavy cream. And remember, if you're a child, don't do anything in the kitchen without adult supervision. First of all, we need to melt the sugar in the saucepan on high heat without stirring. When the sugar is melted, remove it from the heat and add the butter and stir. right now to show you what it will look like if the caramel is not hot enough when you add the butter. This is what happens when you spend too much time moving the camera um, in the middle of the recipe. If it happens to you, just place the pan on low heat until the butter is well incorporated and voila! When the butter is uh, melted and well incorporated, add the whipping cream. Put it back on medium heat and keep stirring for five minutes. It has been cooking for five minutes, so now it's time to remove it from the heat. Pour it in a container and be careful not to burn yourselves. This is very hot. Um, right now it's too hot to eat, so store it in the fridge. Also, when it's cold, it'll solidify a bit more, so it'll be easier to eat. And um, this can be stored for up to two weeks. I just got this out of the fridge and it smelled so good. I can't wait to eat it. It's so good. It's a bit hard right now because it just came out of the fridge, but I suggest putting it like 15 minutes at room temperature to make it more liquid. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, smash that like button, and hit the notification bell to never miss another video. If you enjoyed this video, watch this video or that video. They're both awesome.